What if the plane you fly in 2030 looks more like a stealth bomber than a bird? In just two years, Jet Zero plans to launch a full-size prototype of the Z-4, a blended wing body aircraft backed by the US Air Force and big airlines. But why is a startup outpacing giants like Boeing and Airbus? Today, airlines focus on saving money, where legroom disappears, delays drag on and flying feels like punishment. But could a startup succeed in removing the woes of air travel as we know it today? Is this the future of flight or a risky gamble? Stick around to find out. Welcome to Before and After, where I uncover transformations that redefine our world. Before the groundbreaking Z4, aviation clung to a familiar shape, the tube and wing design. But have you ever wondered why planes look the way they do? Since the 1950s, airliners like the Boeing 707 ruled with long, narrow fuselages. Easy to build, pressurize and fit at airports. Efficiency gains came from engines, not airframes. Newer models like the 737 MAX and the A320neo gained 14-15% to fuel savings. A huge leap, but airframe tweaks like the Boeing 787's composites offered just 2-3% to gains over older designs like the A330neo. Passengers accepted cramped seats and noisy cabins as the norm. Blended wing body designs, blending fuselage and wings for lift emerged in the 1920s, but crashed, literally due to instability. NASA and McDonnell Douglas tested BWBs in the 1990s, promising 30% efficiency gains, but abandoned them for cost and complexity. Were big manufacturers scared off or did they bury the idea to protect profits? Or did their supply chains and investors demand the safe bet. Boeing allegedly blocked McDonnell Douglas's next-gen designs after their merger in 1997, paving the way for the 737 MAX crisis. But what happens when you stop innovating? Well, the aviation world stagnated until a startup dared to rethink it. Enter Jet Zero, turning a forgotten dream into a $10 billion reality with a bold prototype plan. After decades of tradition, the Z4 promises a revolution. The American company Jet Zero, founded in 2020, aims to fly its full-scale demonstrator by 2027, backed by a $235 million Air Force contract and $300 million from United, Alaska Airlines and others. Why? The BWB's unique shape cuts fuel use by up to a stunning 50% emissions and costs. The Z4's wider cabin could offer spacious seats and quieter flights, a dream for passengers tired of sardine cans. But it's not all smooth sailing. Airports' narrow gates may need redesigns. Though Jet Zero's patent proposes modular Lego-like sections to vary sizes and place emergency exits evenly. Composites solve pressurization woes, resisting fatigue better than aluminium. Still, building variants requires new molds, hiking costs. The Air Force sees a military edge, low radar cross-section for tankers, hinting at a strategic strategic push to outpace China. But is this a patriotic win or a corporate gamble? Engine choice adds intrigue. The prototype uses the 1980s Pratt & Whitney 2040, reliable but outdated, donated by Delta. For production, Jet Zero eyes modern options like the Rolls-Royce Ultrafan. As airlines knew tech fatigue due to ongoing delays from both CFM Leap engines and Pratt & Whitney GTF engine issues pushes them toward the known. 
could this conservative move backfire or stabilize the Z-Force launch? With a planned $4.7 billion North Carolina factory creating 14,500 jobs, the stakes are sky high. <laughs> So is the Jet Zero Z4 the future of flight or a risky gamble? It's a bold pivot. Before, aviation leaned on tube wings and incremental gains, limited by tradition. After, the Z4 could redefine efficiency and comfort if it overcomes gate woes, costs and rivalry. The Air Force's backing suggests a military edge, but success hinges on execution. Would you board this futuristic jet? Would you be fine to fly without a window seat? Share your thoughts, hit like and subscribe to Before and After for more breakthroughs. Let's shape the skies together.